So you might notice we've got another pup in town. This is Coco. You might have met him before. We're about to go to the Third Street Promenade because I'm returning my red iPhone. I want to buy a t-shirt today. Okay. Where's your B-A-L-L? -L? We had to separate the pups because Maddie is definitely not into the energetic nature of Coco. He's still a puppy. He's about six months old. So that's that. I've been having a fun day with the two dogs. We took some naps, shot some videos, but now me and Jenna are gonna go to the mall real quick because I'm heading to New York tomorrow. Realization just hit. You've got the pups all by yourself. All right, I gotta get the phones packed up. Phones, one phone, one case. Hi Maddie, we'll be right back, okay? So look at this, this is the new iOS 10.3 CarPlay update. They have these little tabs. That's nice. You can be like in Spotify and then like go do something else. Can you believe we're listening to Sam Hunt? I listened to him all day today. Hello, we're driving to the Apple store to return my phone. I think I'm gonna get a new case today. All right. Okay, we gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. It's gonna be closing and I gotta go home and pack. We don't like to leave the dogs for very long. So the last time that I came down these steps, I was on my way to the Apple store and it was super early to get the phone that I currently have in my backpack. Have you guys missed the video that I posted? I was talking about the reason that I wanted to return it, which is clearly, it's, it's plain and simple. I don't like the color red. So since I felt really bad about returning a phone that was technically for charity, I am just gonna donate the full amount of the phone that I paid for it directly to the Red Foundation. They'll actually be getting 100% of my donation instead of, I, I don't mean, know, like, a dollar or two yeah, from the red iPhone. Trying out a new lens today. It's a 16 to 70. So I've got a little bit more of a zoom. Let me know what you guys think. What? It's not that cold outside. You're wearing a winter jacket. It was made for you and me. This land is yours. Do you like it? Yeah. The transaction is complete, Jen. We did it. <laughs> yeah, but how about that riveting footage? Oh, I can't, I don't know. I, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, you will. Do you think that's supposed to do that or like what? Huh? Huh? Yeah, but like why would you want to have a shirt that says avocado toast on it? Silly. Look at your little frog legs. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Let's see that sweet smile. Daddy, fix your hair, honey. Well, come here, honey. Oh, buddy. So we're jumping forward in time. This clip that you're seeing now is after I've posted the red iPhone video, after I returned the video, and after I got back from New York. But I had to uh, apparently prove that number one, I bought the iPhone, that I returned it, and that I donated to Red because I was reading the comments and people were calling me the absolute worst things ever. I was like, I basically am giving money to charity and you still are saying the most hateful things ever. Honestly, it still surprises me to this day, 11 years of being on YouTube and even longer of being on the internet, that people are so cruel. It, surprised, it still surprises me. surprises me every time. It is actually quite surprising. They said that I should have gave it away, but the reason that Wait, people- what? the people The reason that people give iPhones away is to get subscribers. Yeah. That's not a secret. I've I done don't... giveaways so that I can get likes and followers. That's why, that's why people do it. Not that I don't want to give you guys a phone, but this is a phone for charity. It, I just, it's beyond me. I'm beside myself right now. Here's my receipt. Here's the donation receipt. End of story. Let's move on to this vlog. I don't know what we're doing next in this video. I think I might be going to YouTubers React. What? You already went. <laughs> the timeline is, is skewed. Good luck with the dogs, Jen. I am heading off to YouTubers React. Woo! I haven't been on the show in so long, so I'm super excited to, to be back and react. Let's get my items ready. Look at this. Benny just said that's his original Game Boy. Hi. 
Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm Ethan. I'm Justine. Justine, nice to meet you. This is exciting. I haven't been on in so long. How oh, are you? I'm good. I'm so excited. Thanks for having me back. Thanks for being back. You were um, on the very first episode of YouTubers React. <laughs> There's been over a hundred now, but you were there in the God. beginning. Okay, like we're old. Like yeah, I don't want to. Don't want to talk about it. But we're like, old. We yes. have birthdays a day apart from each other. Some wait. I forget what video I was doing, and someone said, "Wow, that you should be on Elders React." I was like, "What?" That's, that's not acceptable. Thank you, <laughs> Justine. I don't know what it was. It was a really funny video, but I was very confused about some piece of technology and Yep, Elders React, here I come. But yeah, I'm so excited. Everything looks great. This is cool. Okay guys, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Montage day? We've got a <laughs> montage. Hey, let's montage. Okay, end of montage. Uh, there's a copywritten music and fountain, so audio is not that great, but we are going droning today. I just got back from shooting with the Fine Brothers. Burbank to the west side on a Sunday is a really awful thing. So much traffic, but we're here waiting for Nathan, then we're gonna go fly drones after we eat. They remembered us for my birthday brunch. He was like, so you guys bring your switches today? Only Jenna brought hers. And this is super exciting, and you guys are now officially drone certified. Part 107, certified. Congratulations. So for anybody who isn't certified, what tips do you have for them? Because it's a big step. Uh, I mean, we... We went with UAV Coach and UAVCoach.com. 300 bucks. Uh, they have video lectures. They make it super, super easy. So we watch all the video lectures. At the end of each video lecture, you take a 15 question quiz. All the questions they ask are pretty close to what the government will actually ask you when you get certified. So we went through their course, we showed up, we both passed with flying colors, and all we did was exactly what they told us to do. Yeah. But today, you guys are certified, and yep. we're being safe, and everything is awesome, so let's yep. let's fly. Let's fly. All right. Oh, I can't wait to see the footage from the Inspire. Will you guys give it to me, please? <gasps> so do you have your laptop with you? No! I brought the card reader so you can get it. Shoot. Here's the thing, what you thought we had never lasted It was good at first, but eventually I could see between You did everything you could to have me You did your best to make me yours If I knew how all of this would turn out But nobody knew Okay, okay. 
Super cute little box. I will do an unboxing as soon as I get home. Time to open Lily's box. This is so exciting. What's in here? Oh my goodness. These are so, so cute. Look at this. She's got her boss lipstick, which is absolutely beautiful. I don't usually wear lipstick and I've actually wore it a few times and it stays on for so long that you just actually don't feel like you're wearing lipstick. It is so long lasting. A little hashtag mug. Look at these dogs. Y'all. Back up. <laughs> you can write your own hashtag on it. Manny. This cup comes with a pen. <gasps> Skittles. And you can write the hashtag on it, like oh, whatever cute. you want. Isn't that cool? That's smart. It's so oh, cool. no. Is this what I think it is? Yes, it is. Oh, God. It's Hide it. Boss Nutella. Hide it. Oh my goodness. I'll put a link in the description where you guys can check out her book. And yeah, that's it for this segment of the vlog. There may be more. This could potentially be the end of the video. I really don't even know. I'm going to New York for a day. How many clothes do I need? You haven't even seen my electronics bag yet. <laughs> The trick here is I love to have a smaller backpack to take on the go when I get to my destination, but I need to put the backpack inside of the backpack because I have nowhere else to put it. You can only have two carry-ons. Yeah, I'll clean my office when I get back. That's what I'll do. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Hi, Coco. You being a good boy over here? Yes, you... You were scratching the floor. All right, Jen, take care of the pups. I'm off. I'll see you in a day. Oh, no. I'll see you in one day. Two. Yeah, I guess two days. Okay, two days. See you later. Bye, Maddie. I'm gonna miss you, and you're gonna get a haircut on Thursday? Prince. I'm at the airport, and usually in the morning when you're at LAX, the Starbucks line is so long. Usually you can wait in line for probably like an hour, and you'll miss your flight. This place is a madhouse, and I'm not really sure why. I mean, usually LAX is pretty crazy, but even though that Starbucks line wasn't long at all, guess what? It took almost 40 minutes to get this. Okay, cool, well I guess I'm just gonna sit here between these trash cans because this is basically the best option that I could find. We board in like 35 minutes. When I don't have to actually check a bag, everything goes so quickly and so smoothly usually. It's raining and it's cold. Welcome to New York. To New York. But it's making me shiver. He's not like you. Don't want oh, to. Oh, look at this. He's more like the river. Traveling is exhausting, and let me tell you about this flight. First of all, my Chopped episode aired tonight, and it was crazy because as we landed, I stood up, I was about to get off the flight, and I look over, and this woman was watching Chopped, and I was watching her watch Chopped, watch me get chopped. Either way, it was by far one of the most incredible things that I've ever done. I had so much fun on set and it was so cool, but it was a little bit difficult because I was definitely um, competing against people who actually cook, are trained chefs who went to culinary school. And I'm, uh, well, I tried. I mean, I tried my best, but sometimes your best isn't actually the best. So really all you can do is 
try your best and hope that it might be the best. And if it's not the best, then you got to work on being the best. And if, and if you think you're never going to be the best, then maybe it's just best to do something else. I'm gonna stick to what I'm good at. I was just hoping that I'd make it to the dessert round because I wanted to make ice cream. I had been preparing some recipes and one of the hardest parts is, you know, when I'm cooking, I'm looking up recipes. I don't know how to just make things. So in preparation for being on the show, I did actually a bunch of research. I watched a ton of YouTube videos about how to break down a whole chicken if that was something that I was presented with. I memorized cake recipes in case I made it to the dessert round. So I actually did do some prep for this episode and unfortunately, if you watched it, you guys know that I got chopped the first appetizer round. Tomato and date mayo and melted cheddar cheese. My inspiration is grilled cheese. <laughs> I think there's an interesting creative way to think about grilled cheese. And I think the cheese. My inspiration and is grilled cheese. Mayo went really and maybe one day I can go back and, and hopefully my cooking skills have improved. In other news, I beat Ganon. I was playing Zelda on the flight, and let me tell you what the Switch has motion controls, so. <laughs> And I mean, how do I even explain this to you? I gotta give you the visual. I mean, like I kind of did, but there were some parts that got super intense and I wasn't really paying attention to anything else except my Nintendo Switch. So I'm going like this. I had my water sitting next to me and then at one point I like hit it and it just like flew everywhere. Thankfully it was in a bottle. Oh my, I just saw something. I need to show you. Do you guys know what this is or what this looks like? That looks exactly like my computer. Like that looks like the trash can Mac, but it's actually a trash can. Think about that for a second. Put that in your mind and think about it. I gotta, I gotta tweet that. Anyway, I think that's it for this vlog. I think I'm gonna open up my note. What does my note say? It says, hello, welcome. Let me know if there's anything we can do to make your stay more enjoyable. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good right now. I guess I'm gonna go to sleep. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Apple in total has donated $130 million to the Red Foundation. The entire charity has raised $465 million, which makes Apple one of their leading donors. Now, I have no idea what the specifics are of percentages of the iPhone sales or cases or how that all works. Technically, this phone is for charity, and I don't know how 